So it's been over a month now since we saw the release of Sombra, and she's not faring too well. No, she's not terrible by any means, but community perception of her is pretty poor, and she doesn't really see a lot of play in high-level matches. Occasionally, you'll see a professional team toss her into the mix, uh, try some little fun strats, but overall, Sombra is kind of in a, a shit spot right now. Now, Blizzard has said, even just as recently as the other week, that they are considering giving Giving Sombra some buffs, although they do want to give the community a little bit of time to continue to play around and possibly learn to play her a bit better. But they're not opposed to the idea of some tweaks to Sombra, and I wanted to talk about uh, some potential things that we could look to do to Sombra to make her better and make her a, a pick that people are more happy to see on their team. And now the first one that I'm going to mention is, uh, I think, the obvious. A lot of people suggest this almost immediately, and that is to give her some more damage. Her gun, except Except for when you're firing in a very close uh, distance to your opposition, doesn't really feel like it does a ton of damage. It kind of hits like a wet noodle at medium to long distances, which isn't a huge problem necessarily because there's lots of heroes that really only do a, a solid amount of damage up close, uh, looking at someone like Reaper, for example, or Diva. And then also there's the fact that Sombra is basically a flanker, a harasser. She's got invisibility. She's got a teleportation beacon. She's meant to be close to the opponents up and in their face and then teleport away when she gets in danger. So yeah, it's fine that her weapon weapon is best used at a close distance, but still, it'd be nice if it was a little bit stronger at a, a medium distance. She doesn't need to be a sniper by any means, but uh, give her damage fall off uh, uh, maybe some reconsideration. And along those lines, I, I think they could also consider just reducing the weapon spread. Maybe they don't even touch her damage, but just make it so the weapon spread isn't so huge. Tightening up the spread of those bullets would, as such, also increase the damage that she does to her targets as long as she's aiming properly. Next, I, I think we should possibly consider decreasing her hack time. As it is, it's very short, but nevertheless, hack is really, it's really tough to get across and onto someone on the enemy team who's paying attention. If you sneak up behind someone, yes, you can certainly hack them, but if they're facing you in any direction or any of their team is facing you, it's going to be difficult, if not impossible, to land a hack on them. As a result, it, I've heard a lot of Sombra players, people who play her on a regular basis, say that they almost exclusively hack health packs and they don't worry so much about hacking heroes except for in key situations where you want to maybe get a hack on the Reinhardt so he can't lift his shield or the Mei so she can't ice block things like that but again those are examples of he heroes that you would want to hack but are you gonna get it off it's really tough you gotta be somewhat close to them and close enough so that someone on the enemy team is bound to see you and as such possibly shoot you canceling your hack and forcing you to start over so decreasing the hack time would make it so that it's more likely that she's able to hack opponents before she gets shot, actually applying the hack, and as such making hack much more useful. Now the next proposed change is something that I've uh, been annoyed with about Sombra since I first tested her back at BlizzCon, and that is her delay when leaving stealth. A delay to firing, a delay to using abilities like hack, a delay to using your ultimates. Every time you break stealth, there's about a second's worth of time where you can't do shit. You're just standing there, not only are you just standing there, you're standing there shouting to everyone, hey guys, I left stealth, I'm over here. Like, <laughs> so the fact that there's a delay in her ability use, coupled with the fact that she announces to the entire enemy team that she's just left stealth, also as such announcing her location if they're wearing decent headphones, it's really, it's really tough. And it also makes her feel super clunky. That You would be add a lot more fluidity to the hero. And I think she'd feel a lot better to play if even if you're in stealth, as soon as you start firing, you leave stealth immediately, but you fire immediately. You don't hold down fire and then have to wait a second before your bullets start shooting. Now, the reason they added this as a design decision to her kit was because they didn't want her stealth to feel too strong. But let's be honest here. I don't think anyone feels anything about a Sombra is too strong, except possibly her ultimate. Her ultimate is very strong. If they decide to not buff her gun or reduce her bullet spread or decrease her hack time, they can make her feel and play better just by removing this one thing, just by removing this fire and ability delay when leaving stealth. Make make it so that you can use them instantly and that it breaks stealth simultaneously, not that you have to wait. And then the last thing I think we could possibly consider about Sombra is to increase her base movement speed and put it more in line with the other flankers that are such as Genji and Tracer. Genji and Tracer
Tracer have a, a base walking speed, a movement speed that is quicker than most of the other cast of Overwatch. And Sombra fills a similar position to both those heroes. She is designed to be able to be a flanker. You don't need stealth if you're just standing on the front line shooting at the enemy team like Soldier or McCree does. And you don't need a teleportation beacon if you're not going to be in a position that puts you in danger. She is built to flank the enemy. You go stealth, you sneak up behind them, and you either try to hack them, use your ultimate, or pick someone off with your gun. And then when you get in danger, you use your teleportation beacon to get away. She is a flanker. She is designed to be that way. But she doesn't have the movement speed of the other fragile flankers, which are Tracer and Genji. And in many ways, Tracer and Genji are less fragile. It frankly doesn't make a lot of sense. So I think that they should definitely consider that adjustment as well. And with that, guys, I think we're going to wrap this up. Those are some of the big things that I suggest uh, thinking about changing to Sombra. Now, I don't by any means suggest that we do all of this. I don't think we should drastically buff her, but a few tweaks here and there could make a huge difference and could make her a, a pick that you see a lot more often and that your team isn't pissed off at you for picking. I, I don't want them to, to, to repeat the Ana situation where they over buff her and she completely dominates and controls the meta for months and months. No, of course not, but something. She needs something. I don't think there's any question about that. And some of these changes could be just the fix that she needs. All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Hope you have a good afternoon. Y'all, y'all, y'all. <laughs> I don't know what's up with me nowadays. All right, guys. Have a good one. I'll see you later. And until next time, I'll see you later. What? That's really? Thank you.